Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Today we are going to discuss CAT 2022 slot 2 4th set in ILRDI series. This set is regarding two plots will also data for four companies code named A, B, C and D over three years 2019, 20 and 21. So these are the two plots. Some information has been given how to read first plot and second plot. So let's try to understand that. It says in 2021, company C earned 100 crores in revenue. So 2021, company C earned 100 crores in revenue and spent 30 crores. So this is the cost for, this is 30 crores. The profit of a company is defined as its revenue minus its cost, basic term. So this is all the information has been given. How do we read this data? So let me give you one overview regarding that. So whenever we have a block straight away on a line, so it's not difficult to read them. But if it's exactly in between like this value, we will take this as 30. But if you see value not in between like B, this one, B 2019, so we will take this as middle of middle. So middle is 70, middle of middle, we will take it as 75. Okay, so there could be only three types of uh, blocks here. Okay, we need to take those values. The second plot shows the number of employees employed by the company at the start of each of these three years, as well as the number of new employees hired each year. For example, company B had 250 employees at the start of 2021. So company B 2021, 250 employees and 30 new hires, 30 new hires in that year. Okay, so total employees in that company, in company B in 2021 would be 250 plus 30, which is 280. At the beginning, it was 250, but 30 new joined. Now, let's try to solve these questions one by one. It says, considering all the three years, which company had the highest annual profit? So highest annual profit, we need to find out. So we need to find out the profit for each year, for each company. So let's write it down 2019, 2020 and 2021, A, B, C and D. Now for A 2019, this value, this we will take as 90 and this value we will take as 85. So 85, this is 90 and this is 85. So profit is nothing but 5 here. And then A2020, again, this will, we will take 90 and this value will be 65. So 90 minus 65, it's 25 crores. A2021, it's 60 minus 30, which is equal to 30 crores. In case of B2019, it's 100 crores. And this will be 75. So 100 minus 75 is 25 crores profit. B 2020, it's 90 minus 40, which is 50 crores. And B in 2021, it's 30 and 30. So zero profit. In case of C, C 2019 would be this one. We will take this as 25 minus 20, 5 crore in profit. C 2020, 70 minus 60, which is 10 crores in profit. C 2021, 100 minus 30, which will be equal to 70 crores in profit. In case of D, D 2019, this one. 50 crores minus 40 crores, 10 crores in profit. D 2020, revenue is 20 and this is 50. So minus 30 crores in profit. So D is already least in this, right? We can also calculate for CAT to the, uh, D 2021, 
that is not required, but let's calculate it. This is 70. This is also 70. So this will give us zero. It says which company had the highest annual profit for A, it's 30 plus 30 is 60. For B, it's 75. For C, it's 85. And for D, it's minus 20. So highest profit, highest annual profit is for company C. Second question, it says, which of the four companies experienced the highest annual loss in any of the years? So from previous table, as you can see, it's definitely D. So D, company D means it's option A. Third question, it says, the ratio of a company's annual profit annual profit to its annual cost is a major of its performance which of the four companies had the lowest value of this ratio in 2019 so for 2019 if we try to find profit upon cost for each company a b c and d what are those values so for 2019 for A, it's 90 minus 85, which is 5, upon cost, which is 85. For B, 2019, it's 100 minus 75, which is 25 upon 75. For C, 2019, we have 25 revenue and 20 cost. So it will be 5 upon 20. And for D, 2019, it will be 50 minus 40, which is 10 upon 40. Right? Which of these values is least? This value is 1 by 4. This value is also 1 by 4. This value is 1 by 3. This value is 1 by 17 definitely the least of these right so answer is option a company a now there is a line if you have noticed i have drawn a line here what is that line how do we find profit upon cost what is profit upon cost can we say profit upon cost is nothing but profit is revenue minus cost upon cost which is equal to r by c minus one so basically what we are trying to find out, it depends on R upon C. Now we need to take the minimum of this, right? We need to take the minimum of this. As soon as we are going right of this line, revenue will be increasing and cost will be decreasing. But as soon as we are going up of this line, revenue will be decreasing and cost will be increasing. But to get the minimum value of R by C, what we can say whenever we have closest value, whenever we have closest value, so C 2019, D 2019, A 2019, B 2019. Definitely for B, R by C is greater than A. For D, R by C is greater than A. For C, R by C is greater than A. Why? A is on the line. That means R is equal to up, almost C in that case and in that scenario R by C will be minimum. So if you don't want to calculate all this, still you can solve this using this concept. This R is equal to C line. This line is nothing but R is equal to C and that will help us finding this answer very quickly. Question number four, it says the total number of employees lost in 2019 and 2020 was the least Four. Now, how many employees has been lost in 2019 and how many employees has been lost for 2020 for each company? Let's try to find that out for company A, B, C and D. For company A, 2019, how many employees are there? 150 employees are there and 20 employees joined so we have total 170 employees but 
in 2020 there are only 140 employees so there are 10 employees which are missing they must have left or in terms of question they have lost so 150 plus 20 170 minus 140 30 employees lost in 2019 what about 2020 in 2020 there are 140 employees plus 35 so we have 175 employees in 2020 for a but in 2021 there are 150 employees so if you subtract 150 we get 25 so 55 employees lost for company a in year 2019 and 20 for company b in 2019 Let's say this value is 210, 210 plus 35, 245 in 2019. In 2020, how many employees are there? So 245 minus this value is 240. So five employees lost for B in 2019 and 2020 there are 240 employees and how many joined 45 joints so 240 plus 45 it's 285 and in 2021 how many employees are there so a total of 250 employees are there so this value is 35 so 40 employees lost for company B in these two years for C, in 2019, its number of employees are same in every year. So whatever employees have joined will be the lost employees for the next year. So 2019, how many employees joined? 45. In 2020, how many employees joined? 40. So 45 plus 40, this is equal to 85. Now for D, again for D, values are very close to each other. In 2019, 400 plus 30, 430. In 2020, how many employees are there? 420. So this will be equal to 10 employees who left. And compared to 2020 and 21, it will be 410 plus 35. We have 445 minus in 2021 it's 400 so 45 employees left so this is basically 55 it says least four definitely b right definitely b even values are very close okay the b is the least value so answer is option Question number five, it says profit per employee is the ratio of a company's profit to its employee strength. And for this purpose, the employee strength in a year is the average of the employee strength at the beginning of that year and the beginning of the next year. So we can find out employee strength very easily by finding the average number of employees in 2020 and the next year which is 2021 which of the four companies had the highest profit per employees so we are talking about year 2009 year 2020 now what are the profits for these company in 2019 we already got that from first question for a the profit in 2020 is equal to 90 minus this is 70 not 70 actually this is 65 so 90 minus 65 this is 20 this will be the profit for a for b 2020 profit is 90 minus 40 which is equal to 50 crores for c in 2020 it will be 70 minus 60 which is equal to 10 crores and for d in 2020 it's negative 20 minus 
50, which is equal to minus 30. So we don't need to consider D. This is profit. And what is employee strength for A, B, C in these years for, for A number of employees in 2020, it's 140 and in 2021, it's 150. So average is 145 for B, it's 240 and 250 average is 245. For C, average remains 325 and for D, we don't need to calculate it. Now what we need to find is the ratio of profit upon employee strength. So this will be equal to 25 upon 145. This is 50 upon 245. This is 10 upon 325. Now this value is 1 by 32. Definitely not the greatest. Now 50 upon 245, this can be written as 50 upon 250. So definitely 50 upon 245 is greater than 50 upon 250. Means company B has the highest profit per employee. So our answer is option A. So with this one, we are done with this set, a very good set and uh, lots of lots of things to learn in this set and little bit of calculation also i hope you enjoyed this set and if you want to watch more of these videos you can go to ilrda by ipointer playlist in youtube cat preparation ipointer channel and watch them let me know your feedback or any doubts if you have in the comments thank you